previously on our channel. We almost finished the ply boarding. Here is our completed wall that took us way too long. Thank you, wall. Whoa. And made us start on carpeting. Look at that! This week, our plan of action is to tackle the painting, complete the carpeting and prep the ceiling slats. Were we too ambitious? Let's see how she starts this weekend. I charged the battery last time a bit more. Oh, you can see how long it's been here. Let's give it a try. Let's start. Welcome back. Plan of not the day. We are not getting this done in a day. That's what we're planning <laughs> to do. It's never going to happen. We hope to do. Right, this is just something we can follow because yeah. van plan, this should be 2.0 because 1.0 is over there. That's just for today's plan, I would say. Wow, well, no, this is, no, it's not. No, no. We're going to smash it. <laughs> we're going to smash so it. So apparently our plan is to seal and screw the bolt holes. Then we need to carpet the storage shelf because we ran out of time last time. Then we need to buy more ply because we keep forgetting about the doors. Especially sliding doors. Especially, sliding doors. it's always open. We always forget about it until we close the door. We're like, oh yeah. We need to cut and stain some ceiling slats. We decided to go with plywood, didn't yeah. we? So we're going to do that ourselves. Hopefully it works out all right. Yeah. Then we need to stand and prep all of the ply ready for the painting sesh. Well, I think that's going to be the last bit. We're just going to quickly smash the paint and leave it to dry. Yeah, we need over to hurry there. up. We come down here a bit later than yeah. we planned, as always. Half past 10. Half past 10, and we haven't even started. Let's go. Let's go. The first task of the day was to fill the screw holes with wood filler. This is to make sure that the screw holes are flush when it comes to painting the ply to ensure we get a nice, even finish. Right. First one. Gonna tick seal screws and bolts. That took us half an hour. On half an hour too long, lads. On to the next one. We ain't got time for this. What's next? Next was to clean the overhead storage shelf. We had so much self-adhesive insulation left that we decided this would make a good base. It also means we have more insulation and less waste. A win-win. Once cleaned and prepped, we roughly measured and cut the carpet for the lower half of the shelf. It would have been ideal to use one big piece of carpet and lay the whole shelf, but we don't have those kind of skills. Right, got the bottom piece out now. Bloody lovely, look at it. I actually feel like I could be a professional carpenter. I believe you. I don't. That's very nice of you, but no. We began to repeat the same process for the upper half and 10 points if you can guess what happened. Yeah, we ran out of glue. Since we couldn't carry on with the carpeting, we quickly sanded down the walls, are ready for the undercoat to go on, and went to grab lunch. So, it's lunchtime. I am really hungry. Are we going for, are we going for Greg's? Greg. And then we need some plywood, we need some self adhesive spray, and something else we needed. Let's go eat. Greg's is becoming our staple diet on van build days. What's your go to pastry? Lunch done, we popped to Wix to grab some more materials. Oh, we just grabbed a 9mm plywood that we're gonna try to cut the ceiling slats. And we need one more sheet of 5.5mm for sliding though. If we remember it needs doing. Oh, and don't forget the spray glue. Ply purchased, we fixed it to the roof of the car. We ratchet it like pros now. I couldn't even ratchet it before. Now look at me go. We do, however, like to compete. Who ratchets their side first? Aramush usually wins, but I do it with style, so... Bonus point for me. It's three o'clock. We just came back from the lunch. We need to crack on with things. We have a big list to do. Look at this. <laughs> We're done one. No, no, wait. Where's the pin? Something. Anyway, hardly anything done. Yeah, but we needed things. We needed... And I was hungry. Yeah. And that's just quite important. Enough talking. More Jump doing. on that. Jump on that. What, literally like? Back at the van, we can now finish carpeting the shelf. I left Aramis to do this whilst I made the start on undercoating the walls. Wish me, my glasses, my hat and Aramis. Luck. I think I painted more than just the walls, but I don't think it's obvious. Is it? Oh, by the way, what's there? Why? On your face. I wiped it off, didn't I? Is it gone? No, you still got it. Oh, no, it's everywhere. Where did that come from? Why have I got a massive glup on me? Oh, help. The walls are done. What's next? We have 
completed the carpeting of the storage yeah, shell. That's done. We have bought more ply. We might need to buy some more ply. And then I think now what we're going to do is cut and maybe stain them if we can. Yeah, it would be good because to it would give them a week that, to yeah. dry before we come back. We're trying to get all the wet paint stuff done so that it's got a week to dry, so we can just crack on next week. Yeah. So let's cut some slats. Safety first, lads. After a bit of research, we decided pre-cut slats and cladding was just too expensive, so we decided to make our own with ply. My uncle kindly dug out his table saw to aid us with the cutting. We just had to figure out the best way to use it. Time to do some test cuts. Our predicament was the size of the sheet. It bowed in the middle, so cutting it would have ended up being really uneven. So we had to get creative. We didn't have a table the same height as the saw to support the wood. So instead found four garden chairs that we placed either side for a bit of stability. After adjusting this setup a bit, we got it about right and began cutting. That's one. We managed to get into a rhythm and cut around nine slats until the store stopped working. We have no idea what happened and tried to see if we could repair it, but decided that this was a problem for next week. Before we finished for the day, Arima sanded down a slat and I applied some wood stain to it, just to see how it looks when we come back down and how many coats it might need to get the right colour. But did we choose the right stain? Only time will tell. But that's it for today. <sighs> We're done for today. Yes, we are. At quarter to six. But we've done most of it. Well, we've done this. We've carpeted the storage shelf, all of it now. We've bought more ply and we've started to cut and stain the slats. We were doing really well. We've And then the saw gave out. Yeah, so just, we've had to stop. All of a sudden, you just stopped. We've started to stain this. This has had a couple of coats. My fear is that's a little bit too orange. Once this dry and we're going to apply another coat, it's going to be much darker. But anyway, we need to pack everything and we need to call it a day. And we'll be back next weekend. Yeah, so we will just pick up where we left off. We were doing so well, and then it just went... Yeah. Let's pack up, and... We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.